Okay, so this is an Acer. What is that? One D two sixty laptop that has the black screen of death. Um, it's a friend of mine's grandmother's computer, and she's already bought a new laptop, but it's got Windows 8, and she really hates it, and she likes to take this little one on trips with her. So she's going on a trip soon, and my friend asked me to take a look at it. So I did. Um, I'm not a computer expert. I don't do this for a living, but I've played with them a few times. So um, went through all the internet couldn't find anything everything's coming up to a dead end everybody has the same problem on the D260 they try everything else that's for the other ones download this and that rename that USB flash drive all that stuff uh, none of that works nothing's gonna work on this one um, Acer wants you to pay them to even talk to them on the phone how high and mighty of them so here we go uh, what I did on this one was found the battery right there that little blue guy right there and I just took a little screwdriver and shorted out those two posts I took the battery out first actually I took the battery and the hard drive out when I did that I uh, just didn't want to mess anything up so shorted that out put the battery and the hard drive back in it here's your little power button and let's see what happens ta-da Okay, I haven't gone any further than this. Um, we get a screen now. Keyboard's not hooked up, so I'm just going to power it back off. But I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to get this guy apart. So on the bottom, where's the bottom? There's going to be some screws here and here here, here, and here, and on the top, you're going to want to take the keyboard out, which was the hardest part of this whole thing, because you've got these little tabs back here that don't like to stay in, so unless you've got, oh, I don't know, a handful of, um, I think there's the tabs right here. They're actually on that bottom cover. So, but you got to take the keyboard off to get the bottom cover off. So it's kind of a jigsaw puzzle. But what I did was after I took the screws out, I could pry up here a little bit, slid my butter knife under the keyboard, put a little pressure twisting on it, and then pressed in the tabs with that tiny little screwdriver, one at the time, put a little more pressure, a little more pressure on the keyboard until it eventually popped out and once it did you could take out all these other little screws the bottom cover will fall right out there's one more uh, screw on the hard drive right there pull that one out hard drive will slide out all comes apart so if you're tackling this you probably could have figured this out on your own but um, anyway that's my fix I hope it solves a lot of problems and thanks for watching okay we're back we got it all back together um, I said earlier taking the keyboard out was the hardest part actually getting that ribbon back in right there was the hardest part so uh, you got a easier way to do it leave it in the comments um, I just prayed real hard because that's what I do when I can't figure out how to do something but uh anyway got it back in there so I wanted to show you the butter knife trick. So we're just going to set this guy back in there and press it in. So I went through where the memory card goes and I popped that out and you know, there's the old hero. So I don't have a tripod today. So just went through there 
with all the screws out. Kind of went through there to get started. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, well, it's not going to work with all the screws back in it. But anyway, with these screws out on the bottom, this front lip will pop up, and then you can squeeze the butter knife under here, put pressure under that keyboard, and then push these little tabs. See where that... There we go, right there. There's one. There's one. So just work your way down. Just push them in. Work your way down. You know, once you once you get it about three, you can get your fingers under there and put a little more pressure on it. Stick your screwdriver in there and push those tabs out. Pop it out. There we go. So let's see if it works. Hadn't turned it on yet. Launch startup repair. Eh, we'll skip it. And there we go. Alright, well y'all have a great day and hope you get yours all back together. Um, I'm gonna have one happy grandma.